Nobody's ready for this shit. It's official. Nicolas Cage has jumped the shark. I know that you're saying to yourself, Adam, Nicolas Cage has already jumped the shark like 15 times in the last 72 hours. It's, no. No, he hasn't jumped the shark. He's jumping the shark in 2022. And this is what's happening. Nicolas Cage playing Nicolas Cage, who attends the birthday party of a dangerous superfan played by Pedro Pascal and then is recruited by the CIA to save the world. Movie is called The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, coming April 22nd, 2022. <laughs> yes! Yes! Give me it! Give me oh my. Oh my all of it! I want all of it! Give me that Nicolas Cage! Give me self-aware Nicolas Cage! Yes. Play Nicolas Cage opposite Pedro fucking Pascal saving the world via the CIA after a birthday party gone awry. Yes! Yes! That's the greatest script of all time! I'm 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 sold on this one. <laughs> I'm I'm never sold on Nicolas Cage. I'm in for this one. This is the only way. This is this is it. I mean, we, we've this will be peak Nicolas Cage. We we will never see Nicolas Cage in a film. That is more Nicolas Cage. <laughs> I mean, he's playing uh, himself. He's playing himself, which, <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, I mean, Jesus. He's uh, playing himself know. with the unbearable weight of massive talent, Mr. Black. <laughs> this is unbearable. It's just so, it's so unbearable. And Pedro Pascal is a fucking comedic g- genius. God. God, you know, <laughs> he's like the right amount of badass and all the right amount of like, like satire, uh, so sarcastic, um, oh. you know, he's just the right, it's, it's the right guy to go against Nicolas Cage. I'm sh- I'm sure these guys are going to, oh my God, be going at it. Uh, so I'm sh- I don't even know, but I'm in, I'm in on this. This is the only <laughs> way I'm ever in because I think it's time that Nicolas Cage, I mean, he obviously knows he's a he, fucking he, laughing stock at this point. He's been playing I, into it for years. Yeah. Now he actually gets to play in it and get paid to play into it um yeah i think it's uh i think this is this is about as big of a of of a movie nicholas cage will ever be in for the rest of his career this is this is peak this is going to be peak nicholas cage and i think that it's going to be a a a mighty fall from here uh but i think that we should all enjoy this spectacle while we have it oh just soak that one up i mean you like as soon as I, I was reading it, I was like, oh, okay, this is already insane. And then I read that somehow somebody convinced Pedro Pascal to be part of this project. And let's be honest, Nicolas Cage movies aren't normally massive budgets here in, the, in recent years. And I doubt this one is a massive budget either. Uh, no. And so what that tells me is that somebody handed Pedro Pascal a script and he read it and said, fuck yeah, I'm in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's like, listen, he, uh, pay, pay me my, pay me my, my, my minimal retainer yeah, yeah. and I'm in, uh, <laughs> you know, and, and there's probably a bunch of uh, upside that they can have if the movie's successful. And I think Pedro Pascal isn't a massive star. He's getting there. Yeah. Um, he's definitely much more recognizable than Nicolas Cage at this point. At least he gives a level of um, legitimacy to such yeah. a ridiculous movie that, like, it might actually work. And listen, this needs to be low budget. This doesn't, this needs to not have amazing CGI. <laughs> this need, it doesn't need to be like Sharknado bad, but it, it, it needs to be like as high of a budget as, um, as the Gerard Butler films are these days. You know, this needs to be like a 30, to fifty million dollars, all in max, and they need to go there and just use these names and these and and these these people, uh, and and let that do the talking. The script needs to be the money maker. It this it is it, not nobody gives a fuck about an action packed uh, movie with Nicolas Cage. We want to see Nicolas Cage basically butt ass naked for the world, not physically. But like I'm saying, I mean, can, maybe they go physically. We, butt maybe, ass naked. maybe they go. Maybe they just they just go the whole way. <laughs> and he is butt ass naked. We need to see Nicolas Cage. We need to know things about Nicolas Cage that we don't even know. It, this needs to be a, a rediscovery of the crazy that is Nicolas Cage. Like if he doesn't have a house with octopuses in there, <laughs> if he doesn't live in a castle, it, like he needs to really fucking own this. 
and he needs to do it right because there's a chance that this could be a cult classic. Oh, yeah. An absolute oh. uh, genius of a film that could make endless amounts of money if they do it right. If it's half-assed and it's like every other shitty Nicolas Cage movie, I'm going to be severely disappointed. I will never, ever watch a Nicolas Cage movie again. How do you fuck this up? You, you can't go all in. Up. You go you all in. To. You have to. Like, the, uh, is there even an idea that's too crazy for this? Like, when you sit down and you do brainstorming for this fucking script, like, is there even an idea that's too crazy? Well, he needs he he needs to just draw from his life. He needs to he needs to think of the craziest places he's been. He needs to think of the craziest fans he's ever had. He needs to think of the craziest money he's ever spent. He needs to he needs to his his craziest thoughts, even the things he hasn't done, but he's thought about that he's dreamed about. You, we need to get crazy Nicolas Cage to the point where he's so crazy that we love him. Like, <laughs> that, this is his chance to convert. You know what I mean? Like, this is his chance. Not to just be crazy to crazy, but find a way that we connect with this kid, th this character, I should say, th with this grown-ass man. We need it. We need At the end of it, we need to go, you know what, man? I'm going to go follow him on social media. I, I, I need more Nicolas Cage. That's what needs to happen for, for his career because... <laughs> This is either going to go really well or it's going to go really bad. Like, I mean, really, really bad. And I, I'm praying that it goes really well and he can win over people again. This needs to oh, happen. Oh, that's an important stat. It's his 100th film as a leading man. So he's marking his 100th playing himself. Bro, this is going to be such a fucking dope movie. I'm just calling it now. This shit's going to be so fucking ridiculous. That like unless you unless you go in just hating Nicolas Cage, and you and you've already decided that this is gonna be stupid, you gotta respect the fucking nutsack of an individual to go out and make a movie that says you're playing yourself, that attends a birthday party of a dangerous super fan played by somebody who actually has some fucking gravitas. In the, a in the career, a career. A legit career. This man a has a career. Line. He is putting yeah. his career on the line for Nicholas fucking Cage. The thing is, is I don't even think he is because no matter what, even if it sucks, Pedro Pascal is going to go in and act his ass off <laughs> and he's going to be a redeeming quality of the movie. Even if this is dog shit, people are going to go, well, Pedro Pascal, man, <laughs> that guy's a fucking God, right? No. So like it's on Nicholas Cage. He actually has a supporting actor. A legit actor with a real career doing big things. Like, Pedro Pascal is about to be a superstar. Not because of this movie. It's because he's <laughs> this, this is where he's going with his career. Nicolas Cage is at the deep bottom. He is a <laughs> bottom feeder. And for some reason, I don't know whose dick he had to suck or what. I don't know how he got this to happen. Obviously, he's got a relationship with this guy, and they know each other, or they've got the same agent or something. I don't know. It, maybe they were at an event, and Nicolas Cage was chilling there, and Pedro Pascal was there, and they had a few drinks. And then they just, it's its like this thing where you just meet up with somebody, you just think of this fucking stupid idea when you're drunk. Yes. And then, like, and then the next day when everybody's sober, you get a call from Nicolas Cage, and he's like, bro, <laughs> bro, my agent's going to call you, man. I'm dead serious about this. And as Pedro Pascal, you're going, oh, man, fuck. Uh, uh, okay. okay. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right? So, you know, this uh, is... Uh, this is... Bro, I just... This is going to be good. It's, it, it's, it's the concept. The title is fucking incredible. Just like, the unbearable weight of massive talent. Come on. Yeah. I Fuck. need to see this. I need to see that. I don't even want to go to the theater. I just want this on Netflix or Amazon or HBO. I want to be able to sit at home, watch this shit, and and oh my god, and yeah. and, and just enjoy enjoy whatever the hell this is oh. gonna be. I'm I'm gonna I need to see. I'm gonna need to see a trailer, and I'm just praying to God that the trailer isn't like the last like ten movies Nicolas Cage made where it just looks bad. I need this to look good. I need this to be like. I need Nicolas Cage to to channel his inner Keanu Reeves and just have like just own it. That's that's what Keanu does. He owns it, and people are like love him. Yeah, this is his chance to be a Keanu. You know, he he has an opportunity here. This isn't you know he's this is it. You've got one shot. If this works out, he could then be seen in. You could see him as a villain in fucking Marvel movie. 
or whatever. Like he has a chance here. He just needs to get people to love him. This needs to be a hit. I'm rooting for him. Well, we don't have to wait too long. It's April 22nd, 2022, barring any delays. And honestly, now that COVID is mostly kind of in the bag, at least in terms of like uh, people still working, I'm pretty sure it will hit roughly that date. So we so got a year. Filming now? Are they filming right now? Like, what? Well, I mean, let's fuck? be honest. How long of a fucking time do they yeah, need to put this movie months. together, bro? Yeah, like two months. They're not know. doing any deep CG or anything like that. This is this is just they're, they're they they just bang this bad boy out in a couple months. So, uh, my body is fucking ready for that. Uh, and lastly, uh, well, no, not lastly. Sorry, I'll back up one. Donnie, my body is all, also ready for this. Donnie, oh my Yen. god, sorry, sorry, I gotta go back to this. Oh, for okay, a second. Uh oh, okay. Neil Patrick Harris is in the movie. Oh, they're, they're fuck. Already, Tiffany Haddish is in the movie. Oh. I'm not, I'm not sure how I feel about Tiffany Haddish, but you know she can be funny. There's a lot of people in this movie, so you know I mean, what I think. You know what I, you know what I have a sneaking suspicion is that a lot of people in Hollywood. They are filming. A yeah. lot of people in Hollywood actually really fucking like Nicolas Cage. I just think well, that sure he's there's... kept at an arm's length because he's obviously fucking insane. But I think a lot of people, I don't think he's, I, I shouldn't say that. I don't mean he like literally insane, but he's obviously an incredibly he eccentric. Yeah, he's, yeah, I think he is bolder. I think most actors are kind of insane. I just yeah. think he's, 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 like, he's, like, he's, like, he's like that, he's like that grandfather that just doesn't give a fuck anymore. Yeah. And he just owns it. It's just like, dude, yeah, fuck you. He's like, he's I'm, uh, like I, I got no, some weird friggin' shit going on, but I can pay for it, so fuck you. Yeah, so it's just like, you know, I'm just going to be unapologetically me. And I'm, I'm going to show, I'm I'm gonna show up in, like, the Russian consulate wearing a fucking purple pimp, you know, pimp suit and a fucking hat because I'm Nicolas Cage. Yeah, they're they're already filming. Like, this is already deep into production right now. Um, they're they're already filming this movie. And you're right. I What it is, dude, is... is He's been in the movie business for decades. So long. The guy, the guy, no matter what. Because he you know, had he legitimate missed. movies early on. It's not like he's always oh, yes. been in this like fucking weird like oh, category. Yeah. Like he had legit movies and he is capable of acting. Yeah. He yeah, just has been taking the easy roles for a while now. Here's here's the thing. He's gonna have this movie. Oh, it's actually done filming. It's in post production. Oh now, so my done. god. It's already done. So yes. it's in post. Um he also has he also has like an Amazon Prime uh thing coming. And then he also has another movie. This guy is pumping out movies right now. But his big thing that's coming is a mini series. And that is in it's a, he's about to start filming. So he just finished filming two movies. Um and now he's about to start production on the next thing that i have to see because okay, what is this why not he's he's doing an eight episode miniseries and he's okay. playing joe exotic and it's starting it's going to be filming very it's yes! in pre-production he's getting ready to yes! start filming this he's gonna be joe yes exotic. he's gonna be the tiger king man. yes he's gonna be who the tiger else king. is gonna play joe exotic nobody no there's only one other person and that's what's his face. The guy who um, played Joe Dirt. The guy that played Joe Dirt. He's the only one. Because he looks only... like he looks like he's, him. Yeah, and he's got that like that hillbilly yeah. feel. But he's, he's not Nicolas Cage, he's bro. Not, he's not Nicolas Cage, man. You gotta oh, that... look, look. Nicolas Cage in another life could have fucking been Joe Exotic. Yeah. The difference between Joe Cage, Exotic Cage, and Nicolas Cage, Cage, yeah. Cage. One's not gay. And the other actually has money. That's like literally the only, like everything else about Joe Exotic could very well Dude. be Nicolas Cage. Dude, this, it could be, this could be a Nicolas Cage renaissance. In the I next can't two wait years. to hear Nicolas Cage utter the words, I will never financially <laughs> recover, from, recover this. from this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, and dude, I, yes. hope, I hope that the miniseries is filmed. Like the documentary, like oh, almost please, like it's yes, almost like it's a reality show, almost like Trailer Park Boys. Please, yes, it needs it needs to be that raw. I don't want to see this beautifully <laughs> shot, no. beautifully lit. I want to see like I want this film on like a fucking and, iPhone. Yes, I I want this to feel <laughs> just like uh, like the documentary. I want to be put right back in there, but I want Nicolas Cage yes. just reenacting all of it. It needs to yes. happen. Please, yeah. This next year is going to be my fucking dream year of just just nothing but Nicolas Cage shit. 
I'm I'm so fucking ready. That's incredible. Those two things in succession. Fuck. <laughs>